Welcome to a very special edition of the Feedback Loop here at East Denver. I am joined by Push's own founder, product lead, mastermind, Harsh Rajat. Hey, Mona. How are nice, you? nice to be here. Did you get lost finding my podcast? I, I did. I mean, I, I actually had like two loops over the entire arena. It is a bit confusing. Tell everybody who isn't familiar with you in our viewership across the world about you and Push and how Push came to be. I'm the founder and project leader of Push. I basically make sure that all the team members are there doing their job, uh, assisting anyone out. Uh, so I'm like the community manager at Push as well. Push uh, is a communication protocol for Web3. Um, I mean, we are so early that we didn't have notifications, we didn't have chat, uh, we didn't have uh, messaging on Web3 when we started, which was back in 2020. The very first thing that we do uh, in virtual Web2 world is we communicate or apps communicate. So whenever we are posting something on Twitter, after that we are not on Twitter, but our mobile phone will tell if we are gaining followers or if there's some replies that uh, come in. Uh, even for bank things that we do, like banks will send on alerts uh, and this goes on and on. Like notifications are so ingrained in our life in virtual web to word, uh, email, Discord, WhatsApp, whatever we are doing. Even when we are chatting, we are chatting via notifications and uh, apps have figured this magical formula out in Web2 wherein they say that the user need, doesn't need to care a lot. We will do the work for the users. So the users are very happy to re-engage with the app. Push basically bought that to Web3 world. We basically realized that the Web3 usernames that are wallet addresses, uh, they needed a communication layer that could be built on. Uh, and that can allow any protocol to send notifications directly to the wallet address uh, from an open network. So any crypto wallet can uh, just tap into these communications and can just display these things out. And now we have launched uh, uh, push chat and group chat. Uh, idea is that uh, you can build the next Discord or you can build the next Web3 uh, token gated community uh, using push chat protocol or push notification protocol. If I had to explain why, why it is important for users to be able to control or to understand or to engage with their notifications, what does it mean for someone to engage with notifications? Um, before we get into all of the, you know, I have so many questions to ask you about like gasless notifs and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, as human beings, we need to communicate. Like whatever we are doing, even in real world, we communicate, right? We have a contract. Uh, or a rent contract with our house, right? Uh, the landlord will basically come and tell us that we are not paying the rent uh, before throwing us out. And that is because we are in this habit of communication. The landlord is basically notifying <laughs> us uh, in this I've scenario. Been that girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. But now, now realize that this also is there in the virtual world. So, virtual world. Uh, if you're using emails, like uh, Gmail will send us notifications out that these are the important things or important emails you have. And then it's up to you how you want to engage or not. Uh, and this is exactly what Web3 World needed as well. Like all the protocols, like social that's built in, like Web3 Social. So Lens definitely needs to communicate, right? If someone likes your uh, uh, profile or if someone replies to your profile, you need to have that notification so that you know that, so that okay, you're aware. This, yes, yeah. you are aware and then you can return back. Right. And that's what Push does. Like Push does it for everyone, uh, including Lens, including uh, Polygon, including Gitcoin, including DYDX, uh, Aave. Uh, I mean, we work with over 600 protocols now. We're here, we see, we see Spork DAO. There are many DAOs participating here at East Denver. I, I see push everywhere. I see you on every chain across hundreds of protocols, more and more being announced all the time. What, what has drawn you to East Denver? What are you excited about here as harsh and as push? Got it. So I've been coming to East Denver from uh, 2021, uh, 2020 actually, 2020 was the virtual one. Uh, I love to mentor because uh, we started as a hackathon project. And with Push, of course, it's a good way to get all the community together and announce new features. 
so that's what we do we basically work very very hard for new features yeah. and then uh in denver or these type of conferences are the best way to announce what you're working and show what is the future so yes and speaking of that i mean we're talking about gasless notifications there's all kinds of glooming features so uh what you got harsh <laughs> so really excited about group chat like spark dao now we have a way to create a chat uh which is token gated so only dao members or spark dao or spark dao members can come and talk uh, really excited about uh, uh this premium chat uh, or group chats that can be created uh which is just the web free native way you don't have to use anything else you don't have to connect your discord you don't have to dox your account you are a web free wallet you have a nft um and if that nft group is created you just go over there and you can uh, talk about that very soon uh, we also have <laughs> we also have video uh, coming in like wallet to wallet video call uh, we also have incentivized chat coming in which will create the uh, entire creator economy uh, and we'll also have message gating coming in which means that uh, you can only chat at a certain dao Uh, if you have some amount of NM- NFTs or some amount of token, what are some of the technical challenges? I mean, I know that we knew a, a few people passed by, knowing that you were coming here to talk about this. We had a lot of questions about some of these, you know, ideas around token gating and around um, some of the future of messaging. Where are we relative to the technical difficulty of that? Like, what's the challenge that you're finding is like spicy in the resolution of this? Got it. I mean, the challenge is scalability. Scale. Like, if we are Well, and that's our vision. Like the vision is like de facto communication protocol of Web three, uh, doing as much messaging and as much notification as WhatsApp does or Telegram does. Every four weeks, we basically uh, scale the product a bit more, and then we have new ideas to scale it out. And I think that will keep on happening again and again uh, until we get to that Web two point. Because decentralization with scalability, that's actually hard. I think Vitalik <laughs> also says that, but yeah, it's hard on any product. Well, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you for sharing your time. I know you've got to get ready for tomorrow, and there's a bunch of people who want to be mentored by you and get time with you. So thank you, Harsh. Our time is up for now, but the conversation is still going. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Sino Global Cap. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us your feedback so we can loop it into upcoming episodes. 